Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to install Git on Windows. So let's get started. So we'll just search on a browser saying git download. I'll go to git official website for downloads. This is it. So you can see the section for downloads and it says for Mac, Windows and Linux slash Unix. So we want it for Windows. So we'll click on Windows. You can see this is a section for downloading git for different bit version. So you can see in this section we have all the download links for Windows. So we'll click on 32 bit git for Windows setup because my Windows is 32 bit only. So after this, let's click on save. It's downloading. Let's wait for it to download. Yeah, it's downloaded. Just click on run. So you can see the UI that's showing up the pop-up window for downloading the git. Let's click on next. So it will ask you for the path where you want to install your git. So I'm selecting the default path. Click on next. So it will ask a lot of questions over here like you know select the components. So where do you want uh, to select the component for? So I'm just selecting the default size and it says over here it will take at least 253.5 MBs of disk space. So you're fine with that fine click on next click on next so there are three options for selecting uh, your path environment so I'm going by default that is get from the command line and also from third-party software click on next using the open SL library next I think that's also fine click on next next so we are going by default options of now because it's not much required for us so Let's go with the flow. Let it install. So you can see it installing. Let's wait for it to install. Yes, it's done. Let's click on launch git bash also and click next. So you can see git bash is, is launched over here. So it comes by default with git. So let's check for the git version and see if it is there or not. So you can see, yes, it's installed and the version is 2.26.1. So that's it guys. So this is how we can install git for windows and we can see it's working fine as well. So we'll be using git bash for doing any other operations uh, related to git in case of windows because it's very easy and provides proper interface for users to understand. That's it. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please do like subscribe my channel.